the Toy Talks family and today I'm here with my brother TJ. Hey guys. And today you guys are very lucky because you're going to be joining the Toy Talks family science lab. We are going to be dissecting this frog from the Dissected Frog Lab and I am very excited. Don't worry, it's not a real frog. It's just a gel frog. And look, there's even more at the back. So there's, so it shows a Ooh, bat. Oh, that's my favorite color. Well, my second favorite color. And then there's a fish. It's a piranha. And the last, I think that is a salamander. And if you guys don't know what di dissected means, it means cut open. And explore. Okay guys, before we get this set open, let's make sure you guys get on your scientific lab gear. Yeah. So we need your glasses. Yep. We need your gloves. Oh, yeah. So as any good scientist knows, we need to make sure we have books to keep notes in. So yeah. there's one for you, TJ, and one for you, Lily. Thank you. So this is the perfect set for us because we've actually been studying about amphibians and different kinds of amphibians in our science class. Here. Do you guys know why we even would dissect a frog? Mm, no. The reason we dissect a frog is it helps us understand the body. And the organs in a frog and the way they are laid out is just close enough to human organs that it helps us understand how their bodies work. So are you guys ready to get into this? Yeah! Let's go! So while TJ is opening up the box, I just wanted to show you guys that it does come with two refill packs, so you don't have to dissect the frog just one time. You can do it two times. You can do it two more times, because we it's all ready to go in the box for one time, and then you get two refill packs. So, three, two, one! one. So we have a scalpel and a pick. I'm gonna write frog in my book. Okay, but I wrote frog right here. So the frog is ready to go right out of the box. Like I said, we're just gonna have to take off the plastic film and remove the frog from the mold. Ooh, it's all jelly. It feels so cool. Yes. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Frog. We are gonna dissect you today. And we're gonna see every part of your body. Yep. According to my instructions, we have to cut the middle down. Okay, Lily, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Right down the middle. Oh. Ooh, it feels weird. <laughs> so this is all like artificial skin? Yeah. Do you guys know why their skin feels like that? Why it's moist all the time? Why? I do. So actually, the reason why it's moist and it feels funny is because they breathe through their skin and they actually absorb water through their skin. So go ahead guys, start peeling off that skin. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect tool. Just to While they're getting out the torso, I'm going to give you guys a fun frog fact. What is a group of frogs called? Um. Froggy? It's called an army. It's called an army. army. An army of frogs. Um. Yeah. So what do you got there, TJ? So this is actually the torso of the frog. That's very Ooh, nice. He had a leg. So as you can see here by the frog skeleton, you can see all his bone structure here. And frogs are vertebrate. What's a vertebrate? A animal with a backbone. That's right. So you can see that the frog has a backbone. Oh yeah, right here is the backbone. That's right. And the next thing we need is a fun frog fact. About once a week, frogs actually shed their skin and most of the time they eat it. Ew! That's disgusting. So the arteries are what carry the blood away from the heart and they spread it all over to the whole rest of the body. Really? Oh, that's right. So that's why they're kind of branched out. See how they go all branched out like this to all... Like kind of like a tree? Right, exactly. Hey, trees have branches. It's so funny you say that, Lily, because guess what? What? The arteries are actually broken off into two branches. There are left branches and right branches. Really? Just like a tree. Oh. Yeah. 
Whoa. Oh, I can't. Let me get this part out. Watch this. Ew, that's really gooey. So there we go, guys. Arteries. Yay. Froggeries. Yeah, froggeries. froggeries. I like that one. <laughs> What's next there, guys? We got the lungs. The lungs. Let's go ahead so, and take those out, TJ. Get the slime off from around yeah. it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that flew off. Whoa. I can breathe. So we've got the lungs. My lungs. <laughs> I'm gonna write lungs in my book. Okay, go ahead. So the frog's lungs are actually separated into two lobes, left and right, and they breathe in oxygen and out carbon dioxide. Now let's take out this part. So that part is the ovaries and the cloaca. So that's the part, like it's like the intestinal tract. So that's where waste comes out of the frog. And it's also for mating. It's where eggs are produced in a female. This is the actual ovary here. And these are fat bodies. Let's take that part out. It's like a cookie. Okay, Tita, you want to take out his head? Yeah. Oh, his brain and his eyes? Ew, there's stuff in his eyes. Oh, this is slimy stuff off. <gasps> oh, look. His mouth opens. Oh, that's cool. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. No, this is so cool. Look, guys. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, let's take some of that slime out of his eyes. Yep. So here is his eyes and I think his brain. That's right, yep. Do you know why the frog's eyes bulge out of his head like that? Why? Like, look at that. Do you see why they do that? It's because it lets them see all the way around them. Oh. So they can see if something's coming from this way, this way, this way, all over. I wrote head in my book. Good job. Lily's keeping lots of scientific notes. Yeah. Let's take this off, this off. So what happens in the stomach? Um, you eat food and the food goes down to your stomach. That's right. And then it gets digested in there. So what do you think is in a frog's belly in his stomach? Food. Yes. What kind of food? Uh, flies. Flies. That's right. Yes. Frogs love oh, flies. The frog's stomach kind of looks like your, um, your gums. It actually does. <laughs> it does. Look at that. Look at that. Cool, TJ. Look at that extra skin. Take it off. Ugh. His hands look oh. like ribs at the same time, so I think his arms from his hands are connected to his ribs. I got another fun frog fact. What? Ooh. Frogs use their eyes to help them push food down. Ooh. So they actually can't even keep their eyes open when they're eating. Oh. Yeah. So we look like we're almost getting into the end of our frog here. What's left, TJ? The heart and these blue things, I think these are the veins. Yes. Let's cut the extra. So here we have the heart. So the frog's heart is divided into three chambers. Whereas oh. our hearts, human hearts. Have four. Have four, that's right TJ, good job. Really? Ours have four, yes. Two atria and two ventricles. A frog's has only two atria and one ventricle. Otherwise, a frog's heart pretty much works just like a human's. It takes blood and it helps circulate the blood throughout our body. The body. So here on the back of the ovaries, we also have the liver. So the liver here, we have the spleen, we have the gallbladder, we have the pancreas. And let's get out the veins. This part. Veins bring blood back to the heart. Really? Yes, they do. Okay, here are the veins. And actually, when you look at your own veins, they're actually blue and green. That's right. Look at that. So there's our frog, all dissected and finished. It looks like a puzzle. It actually does go back together. It goes yeah. back together so that you can remake it again. Oh, so you can remake the skin? 
Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool, right? Okay, TJ, what was your favorite part about dissecting this frog today? My favorite part was taking the skin off. And what was your favorite part, Lily? Taking the skin off. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. We have finished our frog. That brings us to the end of our video. Thank you guys for joining us in our Dissected Frog Lab video. And hope to see you in more videos. Bye! Bye!